Hello. Do you or any of your family members suffer from yellow spots on the top of your eyes? Hello. I am Dr. Samajala Dev and today I will be discussing a very common condition with all of you. The name of the condition is xanthelasma palpebrera. Confused? It is very commonly known as cholesterol spot. So watch this video till the end to find out how you can get rid of this and how you can prevent this in the future as well. Okay, so let us begin with what is xanthelasma palpebrera. So many a times in your family, you would have noticed that people after a certain age develop certain yellow spot over the top of their eyelids. Sometimes it can even be present on the lower eyelids, on the sides of the eyes as well. Many a times it looks like these kind of pictures. This is commonly known as cholesterol spot. Yes, that is the common uh, name which is given. The reason why this is called cholesterol spot is that a lot of people when they visit their doctors, the first test which is given to them or the first question which the doctor asks them is whether they have any history of cholesterol, high cholesterol levels in the, uh, in the body, in the family or not. So this is the most common association of cholesterol spots, that is by the name. It can also be present in a number of other conditions. Most commonly, if it runs in your family, you may have it. You can also have it if you have diabetes mellitus, if you have gained a lot of weight in a short period of time, if you are already overweight. These are the common conditions which can lead to deposition of cholesterol on the soft areas of the upper eyelids, leading to these kind of lesions. Okay, so the second most common question is this harmful. No, this is not harmful at all. The only problem is that it looks very bad. Most of the times patients ignore it. Uh, they, are, they feel that there is no treatment available for this. But yes, treatments are available, which I will be discussing in the end of this video. So keep watching. So yes, per se, it does not cause any problem, but it looks very bad. So that is the most common reason why people will go to doctors to get it treated. Other than dermatologists, most of the doctors will uh, not be able to give you a definite treatment for this. Uh, so uh, that part I will discuss later. So once you go to a doctor, let's say you go to a dermatologist or a skin specialist, what are the most common tests that you will be asked to uh, so that you can get them done? Number one, you will be asked to get a cholesterol uh, lipid profile done. So the lipid profile, uh, your cholesterol levels, your LDL levels, triglyceride levels, HDL levels will be checked. If it is elevated, then the chances of you getting these cholesterol spots is more. And once you take treatment for the elevated uh, cholesterol levels, then these often become smaller in size, but do not disappear completely. Second, you will also be asked to get a complete uh, a sugar profile done. So that will be a fasting blood sugar, a postprandial uh, blood sugar test done or one which is done after uh, two hours of eating and also an HbA1c to rule out if you have diabetes or not. If both of these are normal, then you will be asked a history of whether this is present in your family or not. If neither of these is there, you have no risk factor, your cholesterol levels are normal, your sugar levels are normal, your weight is also normal, but still you're getting this. So this can also happen. A lot of times patients develop these by themselves. The exact reason is not known. But the importance of getting these tests done is that Firstly, you get to know that you have elevated cholesterol level, not just the cholesterol spot on your eyes. If the cholesterol levels are high, it can have an effect on other organs of your body as well. That is why you need to uh, treat it. Sugar or diabetes, as we all know, is also very harmful. So you need to get treated. So many a times, the first time a person knows or gets to know that they have blood sugar, uh, high blood sugar levels or high cholesterol levels is when they go to a doctor with these spots on their eyes. And once you get those treated, these, if they're very small in size, they often disappear also. Coming to the next part, uh, what happens next? So let's say you have uh, elevated cholesterol levels. So the doctor will give you medicines to bring it down. Your sugar levels are high. Doctor will again give you uh, medicines to bring those under control. But your cholesterol spot is still not disappearing. That can happen. So then you need to consult a dermatologist because yes, treatment is available. These spots can be removed completely. Okay, this is one thing you need to know. So if someone in your family or you or somebody else is suffering from this problem, then please uh, do refer them to a dermatologist so that they can get it treated. So the most common areas where this cholesterol spot happens or uh, is commonly seen is around the eyes, on the upper eyelid, on the lower eyelid, on the sides of the eyes as well. 
initially it is very small it's a tiny white dot it progressively increases in size then it becomes yellower and then it can become thicker also if it is there for a long period of time a lot of people will have thick uh, thick uh, lesions which you can actually pinch and you can see so it can be it can cover the entire eyelid area some of the pictures i have uh, uh, you can see on the screen as well so that is the time when it starts looking really bad and people want treatment options or uh, want to seek treatment for it so you need to consult a dermatologist so what are the treatment options available so the most common treatment options which are available to you as a patient are number one we can cauterize it with radio frequency that is electro surgery so with electro surgery the area of the skin which has that uh, yellowish uh, soft uh, thing on it that is removed completely second you can that get chemical cautery done this is usually done with tca or trichloroacetic acid 50 percent upwards this is applied with a toothpick on the top of your eyelids this will require multiple sessions because with each sessions we are basically burning the top layer of the skin it will gently uh, fall off and then uh, your treating dermatologist will decide how many sessions you may need the only problem with these two kind of treatments is that it may leave a mark at the end of treatment but if it is done by a trained dermatologist then the chances of getting any residual dark spot or light spot is very less so you can safely go ahead with these treatment if these two treatments fail and your or else your uh, cholesterol spot is very big in size that a lot of these medicines or this electrosurgery cannot be performed then you can also get it removed surgically in that procedure that area of the skin which has the cholesterol spot is uh, cut and removed and then it is stitched up so your once your stitch heals uh, there will usually be a very fine line left and that fine line is usually concealed by our eye fold so it is not very obvious so that is very cosmetically acceptable uh, to a lot of patients but yes uh, a surgery is involved and the last option which is also there which is uh, one of the safest and uh, leaves the least amount of scarring or any dark spots is laser treatment laser treatment can be done or laser surgery can be done with either a erbium yag laser or a carbon dioxide or a co2 laser these are the two options uh, which are available so if you are if you are having or someone in your family is having these cholesterol spot on their eyes they can either get electro surgery done they can get tca or chemical cautery done they can they can get surgical excision done and they can also get laser uh, removal done so these are the four options which are available to all our patients the results are usually wonderful and uh, they usually do not uh, leave any side effects or any uh, spots after that so lastly there's one thing which you need to remember is that although uh, cholesterol spot is a cosmetic problem and treatments are available but some of these treatments require more than one session that means you will need multiple settings of the procedure to get it uh, completely removed and second if your cholesterol levels are high or if your blood sugar levels are high or in the future your levels again go above the normal levels then you can get a recurrence of this means that this may come back uh, if it does come back please consult your dermatologist uh, at the earliest so that when the cholesterol spot is small in size it is much easier to treat and remove compared to somebody who comes to us with a big size cholesterol spot so whenever you notice that you're developing a cholesterol spot what you should be doing number one you should be consulting your dermatologist second you should be getting tests done to check for your cholesterol levels your blood sugar levels and number three you should take measures to bring those under control either with the help of a diet exercise or medicines and lastly if the cholesterol spot is still causing a problem to you then you can go for any of these four above mentioned uh, treatment options to get rid of it completely so i hope with this video you have learned about this interesting condition which is very common in our country what are the reasons that you can get this who can get this what is the treatment options available so thank you so much for watching uh, if you like this video uh, then do leave a like and uh, share it with someone who may need to see this and i'll see you again in my next video